Motherfucker, I'm out of coffee. Nah. Hey everybody, this is Blake here, and welcome to my review of Spy. I usually don't review movies this quickly after seeing them. Um, not only because I like to let my thoughts settle uh, on said movie before I start discussing it, because my immediate reaction might either amplify my enjoyment or hatred, but then the more I'll think about it, the more I'll realize something was better than I gave it credit for, or worse than I gave it credit for. But also because going to the cinema is a, a very exhausting experience for me, so um, generally once I get home from the movies, I will take a nap. Uh, but I don't really have time for that right now. This is actually going to be a very exhausting weekend. Um, I have heavy plans all the way through, god, the middle of next week. But tomorrow I'm going to see Insidious Chapter 3, and I don't want to do two vlogs in one day. So the only real convenient time for me to film this is now. So I am incredibly exhausted and tired, and I know there's not a whole lot of difference between the words exhausted and tired, but I am exhausted and tired, so I am going to be making those kinds of mistakes. So if I ramble, I apologize. Uh, but moving on to Spy, well, before I start talking about the content of the movie, I really want to emphasize my hatred towards this title. Spy is about the most generic and laziest name you could come up with for your movie. Even if the film itself is as good as the critics say it is, I do not see how this could last very long within our collective memories because we'll be confusing the name with everything else that has a similar name. Um, in fact, when I went up to the ticket booth and asked for my ticket, I s called it I Spy. Um, thinking of that stupid Owen Wilson, Eddie Murphy movie. Uh, even though I know that's not what this is, but just, it's one of those names that, it, it's just too bland and and too uninspired. At least with The Kingsman, which was sort of this movie's rival. Uh, that stands out more. That has a bit more of a ring to it. So in five years, even if I never watch, you know, Kingsman through that time, I'll probably be able to come up with the mo movie when I think of the title and vice versa. But when I think of Spy, I might remember the content to a point, but I won't remember the name and I just won't be able to connect the two until I look it up on IMDb. Uh, so shame on you filmmakers who decided that stupid ass title. Uh, you could do better than that. So I really did not want to see this movie because my love of Jason Statham is outweighed by my hatred of Melissa McCarthy. And okay, hatred's a strong word. I don't, I mean, I don't hate her as a person, but I don't even hate her as a performer. In fact, I even have a, quite a bit of respect for her because whether the movie's good or not, I always feel like she is really trying. She really wants to engage the audience. She wants us to make us laugh, and she wants, you know, to even make us cry at parts, or be inspired, and, um, and I really do admire that. She doesn't seem to have the same, like, I don't know, apathy that Adam Sandler has developed, the almost mercenary-like attitude to where he will do anything for the right amount of money, and he won't even care or try. I still have not forgiven him for grown-ups, too. Fuck that shit. Uh, or even, like, Seth Rogen, who... Whether he does a good movie or a bad movie generally has very little to do with him. His personality is always the same. There's very little variations of his in his performances. It just comes down to uh, you know everybody else. Um, but no, I could really understand why somebody would love M Melissa McCarthy's movies. Um, she does have a certain amount of charisma, and she has her own style of. Uh, comedy. I just, it just never makes the right connection to me. I find it to be a bit too over the top, like she's trying too hard to make me laugh. I find it to be a little bit too noisy and overbearing. One thing I really dislike about her, the character she plays, is that they tend to be very abusive and cruel, and yet it's always played for laughs, and in the end, 
we're supposed to sympathize or like this character, uh, sympathize with or like this character. Uh, for me, her low point was easily Identity Thief. I hated that film so fucking much, and the fact that it actually tries to make you care for this character just made it worse. She was, she was just too much of a bitch in that movie to be redeemed just like that. But really, ever since, and I think the problem really does lie within Bridesmaids. Now, I did not like Bridesmaids like everybody else did. I thought you had a very depressing drama suddenly invaded by this slapstick uh, juvenile comedy headed by Melissa McCarthy and uh, they just didn't go well together at all uh, I always felt that her funnier scenes and pretty much her scenes are the only funny scenes in that movie if they are funny I didn't really laugh at them so I can't even say that word but they're intended to be funny um, they really diminished the dramatic impact of that film and I did think that the film had quite a bit of dramatic impact but at the same time, like, the serious scenes would make me so depressed that I could not even really warm up to the comedic scenes. It just, the tone was all off to me, and I, I was really su surprised and confused that so many people adored that and thought it was hilarious. I just didn't think it was. But that character, was con she was considered the breakout um, character of that movie. So... Almost all of her films since then have borrowed elements from her persona in that film, which I did not like to begin with, and they blow up these attributes to where it just it has gotten obnoxious. I'm sure Melissa McCarthy could make me laugh, it's just I do not like these kinds of characters that she plays, so like the only film that she has done that I found tolerable was The Heat, uh, which was also by the same director who also did uh, Bridesmaids, uh, and I didn't really like that movie. I just tolerated it. So I apologize for spending so much time going into her career. I just don't find her style of comedy to be very amusing, and that's why I did not want to see Spy. And surprisingly, this actually was an alright movie. Um, probably her best work that I've seen, and I know you probably weren't expecting this because I, I seem like I'm in kind of a bad mood, but once again, I, I am just really exhausted right now. But uh, it's not great. I, don't, I think that critics, once again, are overreacting to the film. But I also just kind of have to sit back and say, you know, comedy is subjective. Uh, what works for me won't necessarily work for you and vice versa. And if... You know, she does have that large of an audience, and I'm in the minority, then oh well. Uh, uh, I'm one of the few people who enjoyed Will Ferrell's Land of the Lost, and I, I take a little bit of shame in that, but uh, it's just what it is. I ain't gonna apologize for it, and nobody should apologize for liking any of her films, even Identity Thief, because if you found it to be funny, you found it to be funny. And I found this movie to be pretty funny, but I noticed that the best parts came from other people. I really enjoyed seeing Jason Statham sort of make fun of himself, while at the same time he's playing it straight. He's not necessarily winking at the camera, uh, and to me that just makes him funnier. Uh, uh, shit. Jude Law, he has a, a more limited role, but I, I liked how he does seem like he'd make a real suave agent. He's believable, even with the corny one-liners. He reminds me a lot of Roger Moore. And uh, and yet, at the same time, he's winking towards the camera, but only in the same way that Roger Moore would wink at the camera in a James Bond flick. Uh, so he, I thought, nailed that really well. And I think all the supporting cast did an incredible job at making their characters interesting. They had funny and quirky lines to say, and they delivered those funny and quirky lines incredibly well. When it comes to Melissa McCarthy, she's both my least favorite part of the movie, but at the same time, she doesn't drag it down. Honestly, they toned down her usual attributes, uh, so she's not quite as overbearing. For one, she's actually a much more sympathetic character this time around, thank God. Uh, she's a... Uh, actually pretty outright likable and when she starts you know finding her strength and uh, you know gaining confidence 
it's it's very satisfying. I, I really loved when she put various characters in their places during the second half of the movie, whereas in the first half she's much more awkward. Um, but at the same time, it it always she developed rather nicely. I mean, they establish in the very beginning that while she is clumsy and awkward, uh, she is competent. She has been trained for this stuff, so it's not quite like she's not totally bumbling. And then uh, when she suddenly becomes kind of a badass, she never totally loses her clumsiness or awkwardness. Um, but at the same time, you feel like this is the same character, but she has developed, and that's just, that's, they did that very well. Um, once again, I just don't think her mannerisms are all that amusing. Once again, she's trying way too hard, even though the character herself is much more likable. But still, she does have funny moments, and... Um, like I said, I, I'm not really holding it against Melissa McCarthy too much because it's just, that's how comedy works. You either like it or you don't, and I'm just not a big fan of her style. But uh, she had a good script that um, made proper use of her, and she was surrounded by a supporting cast who she played off of very well. Um, uh, one thing, too, and much like Kingsman, this is a satire on James Bond but it's not an outright parody. Instead, it just plays out if it's a, a funnier version of James Bond. And I think Kingsman did it better. I think Kingsman as a whole was much more impactful when it came to the action, the violence, the comedy, the characters. Uh, but it's not like this film did it poorly. In fact, in retrospect to Kingsman being released first, probably will make Spy look bad in comparison. But that's only because I thought Kingsman was exceptional. I don't think Spy is an exceptional movie, but it is an enjoyable one. But still, you know, the, the really violent parts are very graphic. But there's a comedic edge to them, so I never found it to be too disorienting or... Um, I mean, it never bothered me. I know it bothered some people, but it's not like, once again, with Bridesmaids, where I feel the tone was all off. Here I thought... Uh, the tone was about as perfect as it needed to be. Uh, the, um, <laughs> that's really all I have to say. <laughs> um, it, it was pretty good. Not phenomenal, not great. I don't really feel the need to watch it again. Uh, whereas I am eagerly waiting for Kingsman to come out on Netflix for me to watch once more uh but it was a positive experience and i don't get many of those from melissa mccarthy's films i never did see tammy by the way i hear that was pretty bad um random note i just recently saw jason statham's wild card not a good movie but it has some good parts uh i'm only talking about this right now because i seriously have nothing else to say about it. Spy, I almost said I spy again. Um, <laughs> and you know, as soon as I stop recording, I will think of something new to say. Uh, but yeah, as a whole, I like it, and it's not just a comedy either. It does have its, it does play out pretty well as its own spy slash adventure movie. Um, you could easily see the same plot being used in a James Bond type film. And, and I like that. I like when, the, even though it's, it is making fun of the spy franchise, or genre I should say, it's not, it, it, it is what it is making fun of. And it does a good job at being what it is making fun of. Um, so would I recommend it? Sure. <laughs> if, you, if you like Melissa McCarthy, then absolutely go see this movie. If you don't, try not to hold her presence against it too much. I'd probably say you should go ahead and wait till it gets released on DVD. I don't know if this is really worthy of theaters. If you are not a fan of hers, if you are, then absolutely go, go see it on the big screen. I'm pretty indifferent. I could have enjoyed this movie just as much on DVD. But at the same time, I am surprised that I enjoyed it at all. So... Uh, Good job, everybody involved in this movie. Just think of a better name next time than just Spy. Uh, it would have been funnier if they called it, like, Spy Genre or something like that. At least I would probably remember that title, even though I wouldn't say that is a good title. Um, 
as for written reviews, I did not do a written review of this. I did do a written review of Jaws. I originally was planning on doing a vlog of that as well, but I decided since it was only showing for one night, it would be kind of pointless to go tell you guys to go to the theaters to see it a few days later. So read my written review and definitely check out Jaws if you haven't seen it. Um, I hear they're going to do a more wide release later on in the summer, so I'll probably do a vlog then because I plan on watching it if it's playing around here. Again, I will always see Jaws in the theaters whenever it is released. Um, and then I don't, I don't remember what else I've done in terms of the written reviews. The Defender with Dolph Lundgren. I was going to upload a review of Star Wars Episode Four, except I'm really struggling with that one. So I don't know when I'll have it up. It might not be for another week. And there might be other written reviews that get released before then. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously watch the original Star Wars if you haven't. And try to watch... The original Star Wars, not the stupid special edition version. Um, so yeah, I'm behind on everything. I am working on critiquing the critics. And I do want to get that shit out soon, like within this month. But once again, this this week is going to be a difficult one. Uh, but yeah, so I am at hard at work on everything. But I am just not very efficient right now. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I am going to take a nap.